been about one of the challenges, uh, which is the challenge of uh, quality and credibility of science communication. Uh, science communication has been changing a lot in the recent times. Uh, first, of course, because of the technological change of digital media, but mostly because the, the model of science communication has completely changed. It is a model which I call uh, 2.0, meaning that uh, it's not any more uh, vertical, sequential and mediated, but it's a model where uh, more and more uh, science organizations, research organizations are going directly to the general audiences through digital media. Well, I think the, the, the main challenges are, first of all, the new responsibility for research organization and for scientists, uh, this so-called uh, third mission push. There is a pressure to communicate and be visible. And uh, the question is whether uh, these uh, scientists and their organization are ready for this. And, uh, and I think the other challenge is, of course, is for society, for uh, users of information, because in the past, the credibility of information was based on the brand of the channel. So uh, if something was on uh, El País, La Vanguardia, BBC News, uh, uh, The Times was something uh, relevant and credible, but now, of course, we, we have to decide ourselves what is interesting, what is credible. And, uh, and this is, uh, places new responsibility on the, on the user, which, is, which cannot be anymore just passively watching or reading, but uh, has to make choices. And uh, this is uh, one of the greatest challenges for, uh, for us as uh, citizens. I think it's, uh, it's a very interesting event. I wish this event existed when I was a PhD student. I think it's a very useful, well, first a very useful exercise for PhD students to organize and also to get together and, uh, and discuss the research with their colleagues and, uh, and maybe, maybe at an early stage uh, see what works, what is more promising. So I think it's a very interesting opportunity.